association with what's going on here tonight. So much, and we're having a wonderful time here at the Soul Cafe Sleepout. And I have with me, I'm going to say, you're, you're a star of Newcastle because you <laughs> have been doing it rough. And when I say you've been doing it rough, Luke Prosser, you have been sleeping rough <laughs> for, what, five nights? Five nights. How's it been? Oh, it's been really, it's been a real experience, you know, like just learning what it's like, like if you were homeless, you know, like that feeling of like insecurity and not knowing where you're going to sleep or how safe it is, just, it's a real eye opener. Luke, how old are you? I am 16. Wow. So there, there are quite a few 16-year-olds on the streets. They're living rough. Um, sometimes they don't know where they're going to sleep that night. It might be in someone's car. It might be on someone's sofa. Um, you were in the park, and there were actual people, other people sleeping rough with you. Oh, yeah, there was. There was this guy called uh, Kim who has been on the streets for a couple of years now. Like, really rough. But, like, it's, it's just absolutely mind-blowing to know, like... Or just to realise, like, how big homelessness is, like, a problem within the city and stuff like that. Tell me why. Why did you do it, Luke? I wanted to try and raise awareness, like, to the general public about this growing problem. But also just to really get a self-experience, you know, to learn what it was like. So did you go to school while you were doing the sleep out this last week? Yeah, I did. That was... That was very tiring, you know, lots of sleepless nights and then you'd have to go up, do six hours a day of school, go back, sleep again. Wow. What school are you uh, at? Uh, Newcastle High School. And in year what? In year 11. Wow. So these are big times for year 11 and uh, there, are, there are kids, I'm going to call you a kid, but there are young yeah. people like you on the streets trying to wrangle it together, trying to go to school, trying to uh, work out where their next meal is. So where, what were you guys eating? Uh, we were eating just food that had been donated like to us by other people and just in the cafe or we'd go down to Harry's Pies which is a good one we usually find a lot of like homeless people will just eat there you know it's a good place uh, are, are they getting free food is it because it's cheap it's easy you can you, you know you can do it while you while you're living rough yeah it's just yeah exactly what you said it's cheap easy like free food that's been donated by Soul Cafe and other places like the Night Angels Things like that, just free food, you know. Yeah. So you're sleeping out. Um, what time are you going to sleep? What time are you sort of settling down and putting the fire out, I guess? Yeah, that's that's an interesting one because, like, you never truly get, like, a good night's rest, so you're never fully asleep. You're always, like, sleeping with one eye open. But usually we'd try and hit the hay at about 10 to 11, but then, you know, we'd have to be up at 5.30 because that's when people have started walking by and you just, you just feel very uncomfortable being there. Definitely. So people are, you're in the park and I guess when the sun starts rising at 5 o'clock, people are walking their dogs, people are going for a run and there you are, you're out there sleeping. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's, it's not a good feeling. Like, it's almost as if you're being judged for being there and you, you don't feel comfortable. You feel like you need to get up and just move on, like not be there. Now, of course, the question everyone wants to know, always asking, where did you go to the toilet? Um, well, because I had school and that, any like number twos I had to do, I just used their <laughs> toilet. But um, on the night, if you, if you had to do a number one, you just had to go in the bush. Like, or somewhere where someone couldn't see you because there was just no place to go. So th these are things that people sleeping rough have to think about. Where are they going to go to the toilet? Where are they going to do it safely? Uh, did you feel safe uh, while you were out there sleeping? You, you don't feel safe. Like, you feel like you could be being watched or, like, someone could just come along and just jump you and take all of your stuff. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a good feeling to have. So you're not having any sleep, you've got one eye open, I'd say you've got one ear open and you're, you're, you're you know, not getting the sleep you want, you're then being woken up quite early in the morning, you're feeling really uncomfortable, <laughs> you don't even know where you're going to go to the toilet, you don't know where your next, uh, next meal is yeah. um, and then you've got to get up and go to school and uh, yeah. I guess there's a lot of kids in that situation who are, you know, coming out of their parents' car, sleeping in the car rough or sleeping yeah. actual rough and then they've got to front up the school and pretend everything's okay. 
Yeah, that if if I was actually homeless, like that would be the biggest problem. And also, not only that, just the motivation to go to school. Like, because after you've had these rough nights, you don't you don't want to go to school. You know, see all your friends, and then they'd ask like, "Oh, how was your sleep?" And then you'd you'd have to tell them like, "I didn't get much. I sleep in a car. Don't have a house." So yeah, stuff like that would just it wouldn't be good. Uh, the, the, there's a lot of kids here tonight, um, which is really lovely, and we've got a safe um, a place for them here on this uh, level eight here at the Civic West car park. Um, and there's a lot of there's look, there, there are young ones here as well to try and experience this. Obviously, we weren't in a park like you; we we're in a, a safe environment with lots of people here. Um, but you were actually uh, in the park, um, not knowing who was walking by um, or, you know, what animals there are, oh, I can yeah. imagine. <laughs> can you tell us any funny stories? Um, on the first night we were sleeping, Mum was, uh, it was about 12 o'clock, I think, and then you, you look over and Mum's sitting up, looking all frantic, <laughs> and you're like, what's wrong? And then she looks and she's just, I just got attacked by a pug. Oh my was, goodness. Yeah, so that, that was a real spin out, but um, any other funny stories? I don't know. It was really cool last week. It didn't really rain, um, but the week before, I mean, for anyone sleeping rough, that would have been tough. Oh, it would have been really bad. All your clothes, sleeping bags, shoes, everything would have been absolutely drenched. Luke, what is on the cards for tonight? It's going to be, it looks like it's a bit of a party night tonight. People are, you know, very high spirits. Everyone is here together as a community to raise money and awareness. Um, and there's going to be, a, you know, a barbecue upstairs, there's tea and coffee. People are quite comfortable. They've got swags and so forth. Yeah. Um, and uh, most people are donating their swags then onto um, Soul Cafe. So uh, what can we what can we do as we go on in our lives to, uh, as we all go back to a nice warm bed tomorrow, think about how people are sleeping rough. Can we knock on the door of Soul Cafe and, and volunteer? Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be a great help, you know, because that's what we need. People who just want to volunteer their time just to come in, you know, help someone out, give them a meal. We also do stuff like Pediat not pediatrics. That, that's not right. No. What's, what's it called? Oh, we, we, well, you do lots of um, counselling. You do yeah, haircuts. Yeah. You do all these ancillary services as well. Yeah. Um, give guys direction on how to navigate the Centrelink system, which is just horrendous, oh. um, and uh, ha put them on housing. And there's lots of workshops and so forth. So, yeah. Soul Cafe isn't just a hot meal. That's sort of the gateway to all these other things. Yeah. Luke, I'm going to let you go. Uh, yeah. You're going to go and find a, a dry spot to oh, settle yeah. down um, but also have a good chat to all of these people because you're quite oh, an yeah. ambassador now uh, for yeah. Soul Cafe for the sleep out so I do appreciate you taking some time to uh, come and chat with us today so I'm going to throw back over to our uh, good friend Stoddy who is doing an all pulling an all-nighter tonight <laughs> thank you thank you very much